and uh, lots of options, which is really awesome. Um, there is an easy mode for jumping. Wall jumps use camera for direction instead of movement keys, and crouch jumping is done automatically. I enabled that. It's not enabled by default. Because I will have to do lots of other things at the same time anyway, because this game is on the hardcore side of things. Uh, like parrying is a thing. Knockdown, sneaking, grabbing, kicking. So there's lots of input um, that you need to take care of. I'm not sure if left control T is something that will happen for me, but we'll we'll just start it up and see how it treats us. <laughs> uh, I reduced the bobbing a bit, and that's everything I changed, as far as I can remember. Right? New game. Easy. For the uninitiated, enemies uh, move and react slower and have less health. You can still fine-tune this to your liking. Fucking raw. Yeah, so the, you kind of get a glimpse at the mindset. Uh, classic mode. Bunny hopping like it's 1996 for fans of Quake and Half-Life. Crouch jump to mental obstacles and directional input required to do air movement. Uh, movement similar to modern uh, first-person shooters, automatically mental obstacles and wall jumping is controlled with the camera. So oh, the mouse invert uh, worked. I need three though. Five is too much. Moza, where the hell are you? I've been waiting for half an hour. That's civil. Relax, I'm right outside. Uh, I'm gonna tune down the volume a bit more. I know you don't take any of this seriously, but you're going to get yourself fired if you don't show up for your performance metrics, and I'm not going to stop it. <sighs> it's so uptight. Which place is it again? The one with the tad neon on the front. Be right there. Report to training. Okay, so we were shooting hoops with our friend, apparently. Uh, I increased the field of view. That apparently was not necessary. Or did I? Was it set to 100 by, by default, maybe? I definitely had the uh, fishbowl. Fishbowl mode here. I turned off motion blur. And put vsync to active. You can scale up the head up display. Hey Raven, welcome. But that this is uh, scaling four. I think that's quite all right. You can see. You can see the things. How's it going, Raven? Welcome in. <laughs> Maybe still. Let's go for eighty. Yeah, that seems more like it. No, no fishbowl effect. They don't want any problems, that's right. So the minimap is turning with us. Can I stop that from happening? It's, you know, it's not super important, but when the minimap turns with me, I get lost permanently because I, don't, I never know where to go. So we can run fast. Uh, there's a stealth meter next to the camera. Uh, to the that's the kick. Control T. That's not working. How am I supposed to press Control T while using? Yeah, no. Kick. Mouse uh, three. Jump kick. Run jump kick. Crouch kick. <sighs> Just watching some uh, Dota 2 games. Oh, nice. Oh, for your ice cream. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, is it so warm? 
We are currently in the cold spot. Um, so we have very low temps, which is super nice. Um, is this place abandoned? Let's ah. just say it's been repurposed. Yeah, we need to go in there. That's simple. Oh, lock, punch. We can lean left and right. Yeah, okay. I think I got the basic controls at least. It seems a bit dark. Uh, it could be that it's uh, supposed to be this dark. I cannot really tell. I mean, this is a basically no lights in the room and it's just that flare. So for that it works. And out here it's just, uh, you know, cyberpunk darkness with rain. So I guess these corners are supposed to be dark. door is closed we want to open it oh it's that cold okay uh where we are going for our vacation um current forecast is uh 17 18 degrees during the day and down to 10 in the night that's colder than we wanted it but it's fine with me <laughs> yeah it's uh, this game does look different on the on the screenshots Evaluation. Time. Well, you took your damn time. I'm complete. This is really necessary. You wouldn't think so, but the company has a staggering 60% operational failure rate at the moment. So, yes, I have to evaluate you. <laughs> Pick up the equipment and I'll roll out the terminal. Hit the switch when you're ready. Sure. Cool. Uh, can we quick save? VR. All right, let's get to it, Moe. I'm going to be taking you through some simple exercises first, okay? You thought we'd be more like Iron Fury. It might be. Come on, do I really have to do this? I guess I could just give you your evaluation exam right away if you'd like. If you can handle it. I wouldn't mind a refresher. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't mind a refresher. Yeah, that's probably wise. Shall we? First up, let's practice jumps. You know the drill. You can press crouch while in the... Okay, now I want you to wall jump by pressing jump against the obstacle, then crouch jump to get clear of it. Nice. Let's do some more wall jumping. Wall jumps can be performed twice in one jump. Use it to get across that large gap. Let's see some hands, Moe's. I want you to take down that simulator. Be careful. Some enemies can block your attacks if you're too predictable. You can block them too by holding Alt-Fire. <laughs> so far it's easy. You can also press Kick to kick enemies and stun them. When an enemy's balance reaches zero, they'll be knocked down for a short period of time. Use it to do some damage. All right, take a deep breath and clear your mind. You can press focus to activate focus. Mm, you can press focus to activate It'll focus. It'll slow down your perception of time and make it easier to dodge projectiles. Use it to get near this enemy without getting shot. Bullet time! Focus doesn't last too long, but it'll give you the edge you need to execute more complex maneuvers. Remember to have some sugary food when you're done using focus, or you'll tire yourself out. I did get okay, hit. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky. If you press fire when a projectile is about to hit you, you'll deflect it. 
Of course you'll need some kind of melee weapon to do this. If you're having a hard time, try using... Nah, I can't deceive you. What? That wasn't too bad. Next oh. one's real easy. You can press next item and previous item to cycle through your items. Mm. When you've got the one you want, press use item to select or use it. Pick up those detonators and let's see some fireworks. Okay, I would try to change the bullet time input. Uh, which is currently V. I'll replace use item and put X on the use item. Uh, that's weapon cycling, that's not really anywhere. Right. This way I can do weapon cycling like this. Okay, we've got that niggas. Right. And this is where I select them. the big the big things smoke bombs detonators uh, I don't really know how the how the cycle item works and I don't understand how the detonators work I can directly pick them up. But I can't. I'm not sure how it detonated now. Okay. Not sure how Next it detonated. Item. Would you jump down that cliff for me? That's what it says in the Sure. Okay. Wee. Now let's talk about emergency medicine. Oh. Pick up those bandages. Press PD. You can right click. Yeah. Okay. I am focused. My legs are not fine though. Looking Bitches. good. Let's move on. One last thing. Sometimes, when it gets too rough, you might want to slip by and detect it. If you crouch and move in the shadows up ahead, you should be able to sneak by those guards easily. <laughs> they did not well, see me. That about covers it then. That's it? That wasn't too bad. Hey, that was just the basics. <laughs> I've still got your exam program loaded if you want to put it all together. This is kind of dragging, though. We can always just move on to the main event. Hmm. Let's try the exam. Yeah? Alright then. Let's see what you got. Yes. 
I'm not sure why I did select an item there. I can't punch him anymore. Nah, something is odd. Uh, I miss miss both. Yeah, use item here. There you go. Um, I I messed up the bindings. Use item is X X. Yeah, it was double bound. Okay, that explains a lot. It, wasn't there also a blaster? Okay, you can carry only one weapon. Ah, but I'm out of ammo for this one. Okay. Yeah, we can. No armor. So I can't put ballistic plate on because... Yeah, that was a bit much. You think? Hey, I didn't write the program. I'm just monitoring you. I can't do it. Can't we just get to work? Huh. I guess I can tick this box here and that one there. You owe me one. <laughs> Whatever. Last time on Fortune's Run. Action music. So you need work. There's a deep space probe on a swing back to the L3. Its flight details have been miscalculated. And I happen to know where it's headed. I don't think so. The L3? It's Federation property. They're gonna get us both in a lot of trouble, I'll make. Ha! But who better to go to for reckless disregard of the ceasefire than yours truly, Miss Litsek? I can tell you're itching to go back up. I can make it worth your while. I got the data copied over. Money in the bank, baby. That's on the move. 10,000 clicks from your position. Get moving! Commander, the precious cargo has been acquired by the asset. Delivery is moving along as planned. Uh, I'll give you a suggestion. Hmm? Tell the men to prepare to intercept the cargo and dispose of the asset. Surviving casualties acceptable. To say this is stylized would be an understatement, right? <laughs> I really appreciate how they are doing the world building here. I don't really see the need for so many distortions on the voices. But yeah. So now we are in the... In an actual mission. With ballistic armor. Apparently. And we are have we are equipping a tactical vest which can have three plates. 
Plates grant 660 milliseconds in vulnerability and absorb 50% of the damage instance when the plate is broken. Damage taken when the plate breaks is non-lethal. We've got stun bombs. Yeah. So this to say this is niche is also an understatement, but I still think it's worth checking out if you are into these kinds of uh, unique games. Oh, here the UI scaling is not doing us a favor. Uh, let's go back to three. Right. Oh, this is your, your notepad. And it's probably uh, not with a pen. Don't write things down. You could have maps and call people. But yeah, I would say it's a bit too hardcore for its own good because it, this will not reach a bigger audience. Just not gonna happen. But for those into retro shooters and um, retro, let's say RP action RPGs, Right? Imagine DSX, uh, or reimagine DSX in a very dark, a bit edgy, cyberpunk future. And then you add bullet time fighting, super high octane um, melee shenanigans. And then you arrive at this here, at some point. And I love the idea, right? I love the idea. I'm not sure if I can... If I can get down with the execution, but this has a ton of potential. Right? Um, do we... Infiltrate Club Veni is the, the plan. I haven't seen... Up yet. We'll probably drop down on them. I, that person didn't drop any items on the ship. Well, this is good. Hey, Padres! Yeah, not really. Santa is Santa. More like a cyberpunk uh, boomer. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Welcome in, though. How's it going? So my stealth meter next to the uh, ballistic plates, right? I'm nearly invisible here. Vision to the head mounted lamp. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I would assume that pressing X here would use the item. But it's not it's not illuminating the darkness there. It is it is working, but it's not illuminating the darkness. Okay, that's weird. From here, it's working. Okay, we're in. I'm not sure if you can do this non-lethal, I haven't figured that out, but you can definitely grab and slash them. Reminds you of Duke Nukem, alright.
No, that's not breaking either. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Maybe useful later. Maybe we do need to get in there as well. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> so you can, you can shock yourself. An adrenaline auto injector. Restores 50 health instantly. Okay. So now my, my legs have been injured. Because of their me slashing the, the thing, so maybe that uh, yeah, I should stop using the katana and stuff. Right? I thought it might have opened the door here or anything like that, but it didn't. I can't do that. Infiltrating the club. We are here. We can zoom in. And there are different floors. We are on floor one. So we're going up. So lean around the corner. Objective updated. Eliminate the target. That looks very explosive. Mosilisk. That looks like our main character. Requires a VIP card. Okay. we can get into well we did squeeze through this okay <gasps> look at that Chinese how do we get to that with the VIP card okay Minutes left. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm there. Good. Your client's waiting in the back of the club down the VIP elevator. Now, don't forget, I have an auto saving for you because it was the tutorial. <laughs> Once you get in there, you're on your own. Radio silence until the delivery's done. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to press that five every once in a while. What are you, my mother? Okay. They sound alien. This icon means you're amongst friends. Attacking will have consequences. The neutral zone. <laughs> All your base are belong to us. Yeah. Um, so it's much less like Iron Fury and much more like um, a Deus Ex is a bit of a rough comparison. Um, but it might be more about stealth than action for the most part. Uh, it might be that's a choice, right? However you want to play it. Um, 
it involves thinking and being aware of what you're doing and involves a highly fiddly user interface slash control setup but i think the fact that you can rebind all the controls makes it so that i can actually play this like a regular shooter plus the kicking which this does actually really remind uh, of duke as well um it might be that they're using the the engine as well I don't know which, which engine is behind this, but it could be if you build engine shenanigans. Right? Duke's, Duke's foot comes like this as well. Just straight in, but yeah. Leo Gold. Double happy noodles. 30 days of work, one free noodle meal. And then there's work and noodle meal further explained. <laughs> noodle meal <laughs> yeah so it, it, it's a grim dark cyberpunk future and um, i thought of shadowrun a bit when i was looking at the how the game actually works um what they were focusing on in the demo and um i was thinking of shadowrun not super popular as you know not many people know the shadowrun universe um but this could be a dark dark version of the shadowrun shenanigans like you are cybernetically enhanced um mercenary doing stuff that gets gets money in the pocket like she said earlier and uh, like the bullet time it would be you know enhanced adrenaline glands and you're using a katana so that was all very 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 shadow runny um and the fact that you can go stealth mode and you know jump jump enemies grab them silently kill them and stuff like that so the the vast amount of potential here is super impressive and is also what made me pick this up um it's su super hard to recommend something like this to other people because unless you have seen gameplay of more than we've seen so far you can't really you can't really decide if it's for you or not. Right, they just beat them up. Um, this is now the, you know, we had the, another character earlier. And now we're switching to the one we had in the tutorial. That's... It didn't explain it, but I think it's self-explanatory. So we know someone's in there trying to assassinate the one we are going to deliver something to. Hold it. You're not coming in with all that gear. And while I don't really think the voiceover is that awesome. Um, they made an effort. And the actual writing is okay. So we, we had to leave our equipment behind. Which means we are now naked. We don't have anything! Except for our lamp. Right? That works. But, yeah, I'm... Right, and this is easy. Easy mode. Uh, I would actually increase gamma. Very dark, right? The lights help, but anyway. Yeah, the like the attention to detail is impeccable, and if you if you like the uh, the, the you know we are a hardcore retro approach, this could be something worth checking out. I certainly think it is, uh, it's maybe filling a gap that nobody was aware was there, but it, it's filling a gap alright. I was certainly not aware that this gap existed, but now it's filled. Right? <laughs> which is, which is good, and this is super rare also, for me. On launch it had issues, and uh, you still managed to finish it. 
Which one's that? Gotham Knights. All oh, right. Okay. Open world driving linear story, I think. What's with the uniforms? Thanks. <laughs> we'll see if history remembers us that way. Seen the posters yet? Yeah. Looks like you a little bit. Look like you a little bit, no? But of course not. You're a common rebel working for Zatari. You could not be Mosalis. I don't like him either. Okay, we're supposed to go to the bar, so I'm getting ready. Oh, punch the door. Monkey. No. Is the bar? I can't believe my old eyes. Mosalisk, hero of the resistance. Now that's something, isn't it? Been quite busy since you've been gone. This here is uh, linear, as in uh, it's it's yeah. Well, linear is probably the wrong, the wrong word. Um, it's not open world, but you can approach the linear story in in different ways. I would say that's how it works. Spare me, see. I just got back like a week ago. A whole week and ten years in utero, right? Oh, well, you know, when you let matter of fact, I'm glad to hear you were doing time and not... Well, that's all done now. Orbital confinement's made an impression on you. I think you'll find him a little different now. Ah, here's to that. Her voice and acting is annoying. I don't like it. Most, it's too... Whatever you need on the house. Too much. Like, I'm a badass, you know. Uh, work. I need some work. Work, work, work. We all need it these days, but maybe when early access comes around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I gotta go. <laughs> Sad to see. You keep calling. Oh, um, and I like the fact that they are doing this fourth wall breaking stuff with uh, press auto save now and wait for early access in the console. That's what they meant with the narrative that's been adjusted for the demo, right? That's a nice touch. Um, some of it seems a bit, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure what to call it. Oh, they don't even know what the shells are for. Um, that is so demolition man of them. Deliver the package in the VIP booth area. This is where the DJ works, right? You can't work behind the DJ. booth area I don't I don't really know I 
where that is supposed to be. I thought up here, but it's, that's not it. Trying to zoom out more. I'm on floor one. Maybe the VIP area is on floor three, but then we would need to go up and not down. Six. Sick. No, they're just regular smugglers. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely the entrance. Okay. to the right okay i didn't really read all the dialogue so that's on me right that i don't know where to go now it's on me private lounge a b to keep us use the elevator now, this is where we need to be. And this is, you know, we caught up to the previous section. The assassin knocked us out. Now we're being blamed for this. Son of a gun, I just got my pockets done. I'm gonna get that asshole. I need to get back up there, quick. Can we take the sword? It's a traditional, you're very sword. <laughs> you don't get to see those very often. Sorry, Lamech. I think we're gonna need to borrow it. Okay, oh, we're armed. Oh boy, I am rusty. Can we maybe not equip it? Yeah, we can. Okay. The button doesn't work. Can we knock the elevators out? There must be another way out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got shredder. Two so minutes earlier. Gun. I just got my pocket stuck. I'm gonna get that asshole. I need to get yeah. back up there. Okay. Quick. It's a traditional, you're very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to see those very often. Sorry, Lamech. Like I said. I think need to borrow it. Shredded. Um, the oh, voice acting boy. that she does is a try hard. I mean, I, you know, I get it, but it's not for me. Right. Can we use this? Oh. We have to slash that. Let's <laughs> go. 
Huzzah for item. Being very sneaky. Oops. Drop food from PDA to put in microwave. Huh? Bingo. That should get me <laughs> IT admin ABC123. <laughs> oh no. A computer terminal. Yeah. I'm not good at this. What's the help command again? Username field blank to use guest account. User must be signed in to execute commands. No credentials. But so I I'm gonna type it admin first. Is that it? C one two three okay, but um, I'm not sure if they wrote password. No, P W D. Don't put brackets around login. So it says, it says here uh, IT admin, right? I don't understand how this works. User IT admin password. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're gonna we're gonna check for. Uh, <laughs> oops. We're gonna check for. Um, <laughs> for for uh, the file. Uh, uh, what's it called? File structure. Lock in IT admin ABC123. That's the syntax. Okay, reading helps. Uh, help. View cam mail open. Okay. This is six budget request I've had I've had denied. I can't keep the equipment running if I can't buy replacement parts. 
I can't believe Mazda got his idiotic crypto project rated and I still have to go digging in the Discord bin, uh, discard bins when I need something. You think you're going to pull from my paycheck to afford doing your repairs? No thanks. Since I know you morons won't take the time to probably set up the user accounts now that I'm gone, I've taken the liberty of resetting the permissions for the security grid on all accounts except managements. The credentials are still located in the front office should anyone care. Good luck finding anyone else milling, willing to maintain this mess. Press escape. Yeah, I didn't read. I didn't read the syntax line, uh, which was a my mistake. Um, what was a view cam? Hmm? Let's keep this one back. View cam. Uh, enter view cam address. Access the camera from the list. Uh, let's look at the VIP lobby. What? Right. If, if here you get the uh, all the information you need. I just didn't connect the dots. Syntax, and then I thought it was blank, and then I thought I thought it said login user password. But what they meant to say is that the syntax for the login is username password with the login as a command. But it wasn't super obvious. I thought. Yeah. Now I'm locked out again. Ah, okay. Uh, Okay, so I have to type view cam cam dash server dash one oh three dot Okay, so the guy we talked to earlier, he's still on the ground there. Alright. He was standing in front of the elevator earlier. Right? Okay, so I always get... Oh, that's what I typed. IT, that would show us. And... Uh, I could now show 102. Well, well, well. Looks like old boy got stuck in the elevator. I'm gonna power it down. I better get that door open so I can give him a piece of mind. Yeah. So that's that's how this game works. And I think that's exactly how much I will show you of it. Fortune's run. Very unique, very potentially cool, very hardcore doing its own thing, which is gonna put most people off. Just you know, but the, yeah, um, you don't need to make games to please people. Sometimes you need to make games because you need to make them. And I can see how that's totally fine. Um, I think it's too, too hardcore for me. <laughs> I, I wouldn't enjoy the frustrating, um, if enjoyable, but frustrating details of the combat. And the graphics are too well, dated, right? It's, yeah. 